Hi everyone, I'm Dragon with you. So today we have the color of the night and shining ascension at the same time. Plus the path of a warrior is still on, so in case you want to get some energy spent or you would like VIP or emerald spending, then probably you can triple dig today. But let's just go through the quests and I want to highlight something. First of all, usual login, as we know, which VIP up to 7th, then get VIP points. So I bought Valkyrie's favor, that's how I got 100 points. And this quest is similar to three events actually. So all three of them want you to get VIP points. So in case you want to do it, maybe it's a good day to do it, maybe. Then we have spent emeralds, up to 120,000 emeralds, which is pretty a lot. Energy. So energy up to 16,000 and here is the plan for the energy, here we go. It is same for the color of the night and shining ascension. So both those events allow you to do that. And uh, actually in case you own the X3 speed boost of energy gain, then you need to remove three more trades. So just like that. And that's the idea. So get this plan. If you want 5,000 or less, then be very careful. Just try to spend according to the limitations. Maybe get the 150 offers at last day or today, all of them, if you want to triple dig for the Passover Warrior, but that event does not require so much energy. So, depending on what you plan to do. And here I told, well, you can do it at last day, trade all 200 offers. But just in case you didn't finish the possible warrior energy quest, then maybe do it today. Okay, so that's the same part once again. If you own X3 energy boost for all the three days, then remove 12 trades from my calculations and you will be there. After that we have summoning. So summoning up to 150 in the summoning circle. Upgrade the Titan skin. Look at this. So here we have upgrade a Titan skin. But actually you are offered to upgrade a dark Titan skin here. So be careful with this quest, please. And let's check this out. So for example, I go here. I upgrade not dark Titan, but someone else. So just to show you, for example, I want to upgrade Ignis. Here we go. As you can see, I upgraded skin, right? And it, it's not counted here. So only, only Dark Titan skins, please. Don't catch yourself into this trap. After that, level up a Dark Titan five times. So up to 80, up to 80 times. And fortunately, all my Titans are absolute. All my Titans have level 120. So I don't actually need to do anything. This quest is automatically done for me. And uh, let's compare that to Shining Ascension. So at Shining Ascension, we have login up to three times, then reach VIP up to seventh, pretty same, get VIP points. I told you that triple dig is available now. Next, spend emeralds, same quest, spend energy, same quest, same planning is as you see, so I can switch it on again. That was original planning for the Shining Ascension and it still works here, but the mistake, you see the mistake. So actually that costs 400, not 300, but 400 emeralds at 2,600 energy. So just like that, 400, okay? Next we go to summoning in summoning circle. Exactly the same, so 150. In case you want some extra summonings, you can do it today and get the double value for emeralds. But I would personally recommend you to do it just till you want, till you get what you want. So just like that. Upgrade a light titan. So here they specified that you need to upgrade a light titan skin. So exactly the same thing is about dark titan. Here you need to upgrade a dark titan skin. And if you do that, then you get the rewards which are mentioned here. Okay, let's proceed. And the last is exactly the same, so level up a light titan each time. 
So that's the quests. Also, we have special bundles related to the Light Titans, as you can see, and to the Dark Titans as well. And uh, apart from that, we still have the Champion's Treasure Bundle, which can help you to get VIP points as well. Now I'm at Grand League 4, so I still have some fights, and uh, I think that this event is valid. So you can get Ascension rewards, you can get artifacts, so if you get some VIP points, that helps you with Cosmic Battle too. And finally, another topic for today is uh, the special Mysterious Island event. So as you can see, we can get the golden ticket for a friend, we can get the Mysterious Island subscription, and we have three offers here. And actually, I would say that you will be able to investigate the island very hard if you get every day two more explorers moves, and maybe that's the way exactly which you would like to get your VIP points. Maybe that's a good way to complete the event, but just in case you want everything at all, well, you can go and get yourself the subscription. If not, then just go with what you have. And finally, let's go for the island. So the island itself allows you to lurk around locations, check what's around, and that's what we start from. So as you can see, the map is pretty huge. Now we are able to get only the first part. But fortunately, people on Facebook already investigated this map and they prepared a good plan for you. So what exactly you want to do? This map is similar for all players, as the devs mentioned, and it looks like this for now. So that's what we can afford. At the same time, the rewards, as you can see, are not equal. So some locations contain better rewards marked by orange and that's the place where you probably would prefer to get. So our choice will be based on which location I plan to get into, and that's where I plan to move. So now let me show you another image with rewards. And great thanks to Celestial from Web181 server. That's his Discord, as you can see. So I'm really happy that he shared this information with us so that we can think which option is necessary for us and where do we move. So let's check. For example, I want to buff my titans as hard as possible. Then I need to move down and to the left to collect the 60,000 titan skins and 100,000 for artifacts, right? That's example number one. If I want emeralds, if I want a huge amount of emeralds, then I'll move to the bottom left, but near the bottom. There we go. So 30,000 emeralds and some artifacts for light and dark titans, I guess. That's probably what I need as well. And if you move to the right hand side, then some ascension, some energy, some plates. So actually this map looks great. You can get a huge amount of extra resources. But remember that to complete all that map, you probably need a subscription, because otherwise maybe there will be not enough moves. So check yourself what exactly you want, where you plan to go, and make decisions. So for example, as for me, I probably will move according to the first part to the tower in the bottom part, then I move to the left part, and somewhere there I will finish. So that's my idea. Okay, so now with that said, let's go and move something, right? So I open that, I get some emeralds, and I get explorer's mark. Then I'll move at the bottom side. They say what I found, but they don't say what else I could find. So I just moved to the tower. After I move to the tower, I need to recover the plan. So let's see how I move. Probably I'll need to move right or down. Yeah, I move down and down, down, somewhere there. Okay. Let's go probably. I'll I'll want to move to the left part. I want to move to the left part. Let's do this. So yes, yeah, that's good for me. Hmm, that's casual. 
And yes, so every time you move, just stick to the plan, think what else you would like to get. Probably I move in the right direction because I don't want what's above. Yeah, seems good. That also helps me. And exactly what I wanted. So I'm moving to the tower. Tomorrow I probably will get some more rewards, but now I know the road. And that's how I can proceed, that's how I can move around this island. So make priorities at the towers, make priorities at the locations which are far, and think which part of the map you would prefer. So thank you for watching, see my next videos, and good luck to you!